Hello and welcome everyone to another match from round three of the Summer Cup 2024 in Shogun 2. Uh, we are here on a Crossroads in a best of three match um, played between Pro Ace and the uh, Black Colors and Spice Merchant. Um, I believe this map was picked by Spice Merchant. And uh, we do have a shrine, a farmhouse and uh, an archery dojo. And I'm um, going over Pro Ace's army first. So he has a mix between leadership and Bushido. His calf consists of light calf rank four, two light, uh, Yari calf rank four, two light calf in the center, a Yari calf rank four on the right, and uh, Yari calf rank four and the light calf on the left. Um, infantry wise, he has a couple of Katana Samurai ranks six, um, I count three so far, and a Nodachi and the Yari Sam rank two on the left side. Um, more on the right, he has uh, a Norachi Vanilla, a Norachi Vanilla and a Yarisam rank 2. So lots of uh, infantry, however, none of them being too costly. And uh, for Spice Merchant, um, we see um, Yari Calf rank 6, uh, Light Calf rank 1, Light Calf rank 1, Yari Calf rank 6, and a general that is uh, mixed be uh, between Bushido and leadership. Um, so he does have a couple of matchlocks. The Portuguese Terco rank five, a matchlock Yashigaru rank five, and a matchlock Samurai rank five. So he likes to play all his matchlocks with uh, range upgrades. Although I don't really agree with uh, those upgrades here on this map because it's um, well, as you can see, it's hard to take advantage of uh, of uh, extra range. Um, but um, for his infantry, um, he has a couple. Um, Nodachi, it would seem, um, rank one. Um, I don't know why he doesn't go for rank two, um, but either way, um, as usual, he brings some Yari Sams as flanking forces. Here he has two Naginata Sams, rank two. Yeah, he's brought them before in the tournament, so this um, is a common occurrence uh, at this point, and some uh, Yari Ash as well. So um, he doesn't play with attendants. And very interesting also, I don't think um that his nodachi um, are boosted by the uh, sword retainer so only 16 attack on rank one um or actually they might be boosted i forgot if it's supposed to be 16 or 18. um oh no they're not um i think rank two nodachi with a plus two sword uh, retainer are on 20 attack. So he doesn't use the sword retainer, interesting. Um, but either way, um, the battle is starting. Um, uh, Pro is obviously mm, needing to, to find, uh, find a path um, to get this rush going. Um, but this one um, does not look um, all, too, all too good at the moment. Um, uh, very nice positioning from Spice Merchant. Portuguese Terek was firing over the top of the Yari Ash that can go into Spear Wall um, while being uh, on an elevated terrain. So um, these Nudachi aren't even necessary really, but uh, yeah, these Katana Sams are not going to enjoy their battle. And um, the um, Charging Calf from Pro Ace being somewhat blocked by this, um, by this little hut on the battlefield. Um, quite annoying. Um, but he does get a charge on Spice's Yari Calf, um, which does not counter charge. So this should be um, going quite well for him, especially with Nagi Tendon support. Um, but on the flanks, um, we see somewhat slow reaction from Spice Merchant. These Matchlock Sams aren't really positioned to affect the game, although they might shoot this Yari Light Calf, which isn't charging. This is a free free Matchlock Sam, but Pro Ace isn't reacting. Um, but yeah, these uh, Yari Sams are going to get destroyed. They didn't counter charge. Um, but same, I think, here on this calf fight. Big advantage to Spice Merchant. Um, when he's running around with his calf, and he doesn't usually bring much calf, it's always accompanied by his general um, um, to, to uh, boost, um, uh, boost their morale and uh, make them hold out for longer. Um, but at the center, we see a quite classic engagement. Um, some Yari Ash being in spear wall and making obviously life difficult for Pro Ace's um, main force. Uh, I don't think there's too many Katana Sam left. Um, this one, 100 kills. They appear to have destroyed a Nodachi unit, but they're now they're not being microed. 
and um, well, there's really nothing else for for pros in the center aside from some calf units, which can't really do much against infantry in a prolonged battle. Um, here, although um, nice uh, movement by pro ice getting into the back of a Portuguese Terco. Um, here we see Nagi Sam's losing to Nodachi, as one would expect, but it doesn't look like a pro ice will have uh, enough units left here. Um, he does have the necessary amount of calf to chase down um, uh, match locks uh, in the eventuality of an endgame, but um, there's still 40 men Yari calf rank 6 left on the battlefield for, for Spice Merchant, which could do a lot of damage against all these depleted calf units from Pro Ace. None of the, uh, none of the dojos are taken by anyone. He receives some nice move into uh, the match lock Sam. Um, but there's still full, uh, almost full Yari Ash left. Here we see a rank two Yari Samurai being left and a matchlock, um, which might even survive the onslaught of these uh, very depleted calf units. So overall, uh, none of the none of the uh, engagements that Pro Ace took with his infantry, I think, were were cost efficient. In the sense that uh, he ran into spear walls with some of his uh, katana sam, um, which I think was his plan because katana sams are more um, um, are, are stronger at breaking spear walls than units than low armor units like Nodachi, um, but still it doesn't make it cost efficient. And in the end, spice merchant just had more units with uh, which cost less and uh, had more of an impact on the game. And yeah. At this point, Pro Ace concedes the battle. Um, I think you can definitely pull off a rush here, um, but um, you don't really have to have to go in with the, with your center force. Um, Crossroads is a map that uh, gives you the chance to really uh, flank around on both sides um, while avoiding confrontation in the center where you're running into spear walls. Um, so I think he could have just uh, kept running around Spice Merchant's army, making it really awkward, awkward for, for these um, increased range matchlock units from Spice to um, to have an impact. But yeah, the way he uh, went into frontal assault obviously made it easy for these Tercos to pick up some kills. And overall, I think his matchlocks were quite efficient. Um, I still don't agree with Nagi Sam's rank two. Um, I think yeah, Yari Sam's rank two would be a better choice for flanking units, but that's just a minor detail. Um, yeah, I think um, I think this was uh, well played by Spice Merchant. Um, I think he had a superior approach. Not necessarily in, in his choice of army, but uh, in the way he, he went about the positioning of it. And um, I think that's um, uh, what made it pay off. And um, yeah, this means that uh, Spice Merchant uh, goes up 1-0. And since this is a best of three, there will be at least one more game um, where I'll see you later. Bye bye and thank you for watching. Hello and welcome back to game two. Um, we are here on Nishizawa which is uh, Pro Aces map pick, uh, who is bringing a traditional rush of Naginata Warrior Monks, which is quite common to play here um, because of the speed advantage of the units, meaning um, you are um, on the top of the hill quite quick um, with that setup. Um, and yeah, I count four of them, some rank six, some rank four. And there's also a Bulletproof Sam rank six, lots of calf and a Waco Raider. Um, Things are developing quite quick, so this Baker Raider was spotted, but um, I think uh, Proize will be able to react here. So he has a bunch of light calf, some Yari calf, rank two, and a bow calf even. And for Spice Merchant, we see some Yari calf, uh, two of them, and a fire calf, and his general, as, tr as uh, is tradition, um, being intermingled in the in the calf fight. Um, infantry wise, we see some Yari Sam. Um, four to be precise, some Nodachi, 
Uh, and on the flank, this is quite curious. Um, three match locks with increased range. So same scenario as last game, in the sense that it's really difficult to make to make this uh, increased range pay on this map. Um, um, usually, when you would play uh, units like this, um, you stay on the on this side of the river and try to try to kite or provoke your opponent into crossing the river. Um, but yeah, um, he will have problems here with the setup. Nice charge by Pro Ace and um, killing 76 men on the charge. Here, the Waco Raiders are doing surprisingly well um, because uh, Spice Merchant's calf was uphill charging them and reducing the impact of the charge. So they will be still be quite sturdy here. Um, but the problem, of course, of uh, Spice Merchant is uh, that his left um, flank and his right flank, they don't really um, work together conceptually. So um, he has this uh, super fast build with Yari Sam's um, rushing up the hill, but Yari Sam's are going to really struggle against Nagi Warrior Monks. And then he has these match locks on the left, very immobile, and uh, having to find some angles for them to, to fire. But maybe these uh, Nodachi um, that he brought uh, can make a difference uh, against uh, the Nagi Warrior Monks and the Bulletproof Sam. But I don't think I've seen any of the matchbox fire so far. And interestingly, also Pro Ace, I think, has has uh, forgot to move uh, one of his Nagi Warrior Monk units. Although his bow calf is doing some nice damage. Um, currently not firing due to a bug, I think. But the next time he moves them, they will start firing again. Sometimes this happens with bow calf. Um, but yeah, it's just... Uh, doesn't look too too well for Spice here. In the center, it's actually okay because one Nagi Warrior Monk is um, attacked by three units, but on this left, uh, there's just a complete dominance by 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 Spice uh, by Pro Ace. Yari Sams losing decisively to Nagi Warrior Monks. Nodachi losing decisively with back charges by, uh, from Kiaf. And now all uh, the, these units on the left flank are freed up by Pro Ace. Most of them being Kiaf, so they will be on the right very quickly and uh, causing havoc there. Um, this standard fight from Pro is probably unnecessary because it's too far away from the main force. It would probably be better to get this general down somewhere here in this workshop area. But so this Yari Sam is also going to lose to Nagi Warrior Monks and then the entire flank from Spice will have collapsed. And let's see, this Matchlock Sam, just like this Nagi Warrior Monk, has not participated in the battle so far. Completely isolated. Yes, they get the sword dojo, which is at least something, but um, less than ideal for them to be AFK down there. Um, nice spear roll here from the long yari, I must say. I think they will route these snuggy warrior monks, pushing into their back. But Meshlock Samurai being routed here with 23 kills. I think the third Meshlock has already routed. And now the general is going to die as well, which um, doesn't bode well for the rest of his army because there's no there's no aura units in it. And I think Proiz is also going to get the workshop real quick. So yeah, I think um, both Proiz and uh, Spice Merchant at this point. Um, know quite well the outcome of the battle. Um, Spice Merchant resigned to the fact that uh, um, these two units can't really help him anymore. So he's uh, in a last stand. Now the Bokia from Proes is active again, which, uh, as I said, was bugged for a little while. But yeah, I think this is just a um, victory through the better choice of builds. Um, I think there's no way uh, the way Spice Motion played this to to win this battle, um, even if he had stayed on um, the other side of the river where he spawned, trying to play with the three match clocks, then Proes would have just um, been able to to uh, fire endlessly with his bow calf until he's out of ammo. 
and uh, do a lot of damage that way. So I think nine nine out of ten battles this this matchup would would have been won by Proace um, anyway. No surprises here. And yeah, match lock six kills, one kill. And where's the third? Oh, 23 kills. Yeah, so three match locks, extended range, lots of money. And together, all three units uh, got 30 kills. So I think that uh, tells you everything you need to know about the, about this battle. Um, but still very interesting. Um, also, it's good to showcase battles like this um, in order to to explain why some things don't work in this game. And uh, yeah, Spice's approach didn't work obviously here. So this makes it 1-1, uh, uh, which also means that there will be a third battle uh, on a tiebreak map, uh, which I forgot to be honest, but uh, we'll see in a second um, in game three. Thank you for watching, bye-bye. And we're back with game three on the tiebreak map Canto Plains with a farmhouse and an archery dojo. Um, and we see lots of calf, at least for Spice's uh, standard, um, running forward uh, in two heavy calf, rank six and two light calf. Um, together with the general, we see once again, three match lock, again, all three of them with extended range, um, backed by Yari Ash, two Nodachi, and again, four spear or Naginata units flanking, two Yari Sam on the left, two Naginata Sam on the right. I think this is a very similar build to the, or at least, or maybe even the same build uh, he had on on game one on Crossroads. For Pro Ace, we have um, two Heavy Calf on the left, a Yari Calf and a Light Calf with the General in the center, and the right another Light Calf, and uh, one, two, three match locks, um, also, all three of them extended range, so very interesting battle here. And then um, infantry-wise, he has a mix of Nagi Warrior Monks, rank 4, and Nodachi, so very balanced build. Um, will be, or should be very interesting to see how this plays out. First volley for Pro Ace, uh, Matchlock Sam against Matchlock Sam. This should go quite well, obviously. Um, but uh, he runs the risk of being doubled here by these Portuguese Tercos. Um, so he needs to get these uh, Meshlock Warrior Monks into the game, firing at the Turcos. Good reaction by Proes, putting back uh, the Meshlocks. But I think the uh, yeah the Light Calf makes it out again. Could potentially charge again into these Meshlock Samurai, which they will do. Let's see if Spice reacts again. He does. But of course, in the meantime, while he has to react to all these Calf maneuvers, um, Pro Ace's uh, matchlock keeps firing, but this one he still hasn't brought into into the battle. There is no proper line of sight. He needs to put them somewhat more to the left. Um, this is a huge wasted opportunity to kill off these Tercos um, with the extended range from these matchlock warrior monks. Um, here we have calf battle with Nagi Samur Naginata Samurai. I'm curious why Pro Ace went in there. Um, but now this should be won by the Naginata Warrior Monks. And here we should see a battle between Nodachi and Nagi Warrior Monks backed by Nodachi. Um, overall, I think this is quite even. Um, although Spice Matron does have the, the general nearby, which should help things. On Pro Ace's right, um, we see some units wavering. Um, there's only one uh, heavy infantry unit in the Nagi Warrior Monks. Um, if there was more, it's already routed, so this could be a problem. Although now there is a free line of sight for this matchlock um, Ashigaru firing into these three units of Spice Merchant. Um, but I feel like. Um, there were some mistakes done here because 
I think some some part of Proyas's right flank was righted quite quickly here. And now there is no more protection for these matchlock ash, um, which will get charged by light calf. And Proyas's right flank is uh, starting to disappear. And these matchlock worry monks still on zero kills. They still haven't fired. Now facing a potential assault from this Yari calf. Nice interception by Proyas's fire calf. Very good. Now they can get active. And here we see potentially Pro SS Nagi Warrior Monks um, killing off uh, Spice Motion's Standard Fight General. Uh, they only have the protection of, uh, of a Nagi Samurai, rank 2. But the question is um, which matchlocks have been more active during the game? Portuguese Terror is already in 100 kills. Good positioning as well. And these matchlocks, 124, very good. But here, 30 kills, matchlock warrior monks, rank 5. Um, now he has to make a run for it. Is there any calf left? There is one light calf, very depleted, and uh, the general unit of spice. And potentially, Pro Ace uh, could still use his general as a calf unit, but otherwise he doesn't have anything. Oh, one more Yari calf left, 18 men. Um, so it's, it should be possible to protect his uh, his matchlocks in theory. Nice sniping shots on the light calf, they should die. You see some shattered units by Spice Merchant, very well done. They no longer pose the threat of coming back, so this uh, Nagi Warrior Monk could support these matchlocks in the center. The matchlock samurai is now being chased by Yari Ash. Let's see if they will get away. Pro Ace does have the farmhouse, so this should um, not be an impossible task. But these Yari Ash are all over the place. It's really, really weird to see like all these green, green men. Yeah, the Meshok Sam are now freed up and now Proes really has to has to get out these Meshok Warrior Monks, get them to a safe distance and somehow uh, kill off this uh, avatar of Spice Merchant. Problem is they have better melee stats than Proes's general. So going into a direct confrontation um, doesn't bode well for him. Nice sniping as well by these Terkos. Killing off some uh, some matchlock sams before the general assault begins. And yeah, Proes got in and got out straight straight after. Um, this is not something he will be able to win. Last melee unit of uh, Proes, 142 kills. They've done a lot already on this map. Um, but I don't think it will be enough here. These Yari Ash will almost certainly come back with 56 men. And yeah, I think I think Pro Ace, uh, no Spice's approach uh, should be really simple here. Calm down and just go forward with your two matchlocks, and everything else is secondary. You don't need to. He doesn't even need to to push here with his Nodachi. Just use your matchlocks for first contact, and then you still have units for backup. Now these uh, Nodachi will. Suffer a charge from the general. Nice focus fire, I think, from Proyas trying to snipe the general as well. But I don't think they will do it. No. Running forward instead of shooting. This is very annoying. And now the available sta space to him to, uh, to run to. Keeps getting narrower, narrower, narrower. Yeah. I think uh, right around here, Proes is uh, resigned to the fact that it's over. His general still has some, some arrows left, but um, it's just too much. Yariash even got Inspire, so they will hold for a while.
and the match dogs didn't even have to get involved in the end. But again, these Portuguese Tercos being the MVP, just like in game one on Crossroads, really, really um, uh, nice usage of them. And I think this was uh, just in contrast to the matchlock warrior monks from Pro Ace that uh, didn't fire until very late in the game due to uh, somewhat uh, misplaced positioning. I just didn't quite capture like what happened on Pro Ace's right flank that it routed so quickly. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe a well-timed calf charge from, from Spice Merchant or something. Um, yeah, matchlocks being the MVPs here. Light calf, 104 kills. Possibly routing units, hard to say. I mean, this is how strong these matchlock samurais, uh, these matchlock warrior monks can be. This is the unit that didn't fire until the very end when it was charged by calf, and it still got 136 kills. Like, imagine if this unit was activated earlier, it could have changed the outcome of the battle quite significantly. don't really see any of the infantry units underperforming from pro -S. so it must have been must have had something to do with the calf micro because there we see some bad numbers fire calf with 30, 50 kills yeah I think it was much closer than it looked in the end I think some small changes could have um, could have given pro -S the victory here but well played by spice merchant uh, who wins this series Two to one and moves um, forward uh, into the quarterfinal where he will be playing against Clayton. And Proise uh, moves down into the lower bracket. So um, that's it for now. Um, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.